one of the claims of election fraud that's been disputed centers on Dominion voting systems. The machines are used in 28 states. You know, the company has repeatedly denied allegations of switch votes, foreign or Democratic Party influence, secret tampering. But its responses have done little to dampen skeptics, even though the head of the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, Christopher Krebs, was fired for reporting, quote, there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes or was in any way compromised. The president called that, quote, highly inaccurate. With us now is Michael Steele, a principal with the Washington, D.C. firm Hamilton Place Strategies, which is representing Dominion. Mr. Steele, thank you for coming on with me today. Uh, to the first question, of course, the first question that people want to know, did a Dominion machine change one vote from Biden to Trump or from Trump to Biden? No, this is a nonpartisan American company. It is not physically possible for our machines to switch votes from one candidate to the other. Let's be very clear. Our election system is run by local elected officials and nonpartisan poll watchers. We simply provide a tool to count the ballots and pr to print and count ballots. There is no way such a massive fraud could have taken place. And there are no connections between our company and Venezuela, Germany, Barcelona, Kathmandu, whatever the latest conspiracy theory is. How do you know that could have taken place? Well, it's physically impossible. Look, when a voter votes on a Dominion machine, they fill out their ballot on a touch screen. They're given a printed copy, which they then give to a local election official for safekeeping. If any electronic interference had taken place, the tally reported electronically would not match the printed ballots. And in every case where we've looked at, in Georgia, all across the country, the printed ballots, the gold standard in election security, has matched the electronic tally. Some of the people watching you now, I mean, you know, they don't believe you. They think you're lying. They're going to say, of course, you're going to say Dominion's not guilty of anything because you represent the company. Right. Well, this, I've got the facts on my side and the president's attorneys will go on to press conferences, will go on TV and make these crazy allegations. And then 30 times they've gone to court and they have not offered a scintilla of proof. So all I can say is until we would love to see any facts and evidence they have thus far, we have seen none. The president calls your company a, quote, radical left company. Uh, the software created for Hugo Chavez to steal the election of Venezuela, that uh, software allegedly imported into the United States to steal the election for Joe Biden. Is that true? No. We are a nonpartisan American company. We have no connections with Venezuela whatsoever. Nothing that they're saying is remotely true. Are you foreign funded? No, we're funded by American capitalists. Uh, Texas had some problems with the machines. They weren't certified. Uh, Dan Patrick, lieutenant governor, called them junk. What was that? Well, look, the great thing about our system is that every state gets to certify their own equipment. Texas, being Texas, is a little bit different. They were afraid that our system was a little too complex, and they chose to, uh, to go elsewhere. We accept that. We don't agree with it. Um, we agree with the 28 other states that uh, where our machines operate, but we may take another te crack at Texas before too long. We'll see. All right, let's drill down, drill down into exactly how it works. Do poll workers, do they use cards or do they use codes to access the machine? Depends state to state to a certain extent. Georgia, for example, they will check voters in on an iPad-like system, give them a one-time use card so that when they go to the, tab the machine, which is basically a smart pen that prints out the responses that they enter, they get the right local ballots, the right local races. They then enter their choices, take that printed paper ballot to a local elected official where it is secured. There is no way in this process that anyone, foreign or otherwise, could interfere in a substantial way and change the result. Can a poll worker change the codes to vote for, uh, steal the election for Joe Biden, for example? No, because if they change the code, no matter what a poll worker does, and we're talking about elected officials, we're talking about nonpartisan poll watchers, the paper ballots wouldn't match the electronic record. Again, we, this is the gold standard of election security. We have printed paper ballots that the voter reviews showing how they voted so that we need to go, if we need to go back in a tightly contested race, as we have right now, we can do an audit, we can do a recount, we can physically match a printed ballot to a vote recorded by an electronic machine. And that's called, that's called the paper trail. I mean, Sidney Powell is out there saying that the Democrats had 35,000 votes around the country. Uh, and, and when they had a hand recount in Georgia, the hand recount matched 
your machines, the Dominion well, machines. So well, let's I mean, say uh, yeah, a, a, a they poll worker. We don't even work, right? Like we, they keep talking about they're asking for recounts in Milwaukee and Dane County in Wisconsin or in Pennsylvania. We don't have machines in those jurisdictions. In fact, in Pennsylvania, in the 14 counties where Dominion machines were used, the president won 52 percent of the vote. Wait, say that again. In the 14 counties in Pennsylvania where Dominion voting systems machines are used, the president won by 52 percent. Could they have been skewed uh, by the Biden and the Democratic forces to give throw their election to President Trump? I, I do, we're now in the uh, a realm of conspiracy so dark, I have no idea even why what we're talking about here. All I can All right, tell you uh, is that Sid- they're complaining about we don't have machines. All right, Sidney Powell and others say, well, they think that the thumb, thumb drives could upload material from foreign sources. Can a, can a poll worker take a thumb drive, stick it in the machine, and fill it up with thousands of votes for Joe Biden? No. The tabulator has no unlocked thumb drive access, no unlocked USB ports. And remember, these are, these are secured by local elected officials and nonpartisan poll watchers. Uh, there's just it's not physically possible to do what they're describing. The machines are what we call air gap. They're not connected to the Internet. Um, it's just not physically possible. Are the machines designed with an algorithm that gives more votes to Joe Biden? Sidney Powell claims that the machines give one and one quarter vote to Biden, three quarters of a votes to Trump. Uh, are they skewed? Do they shift votes? Are the votes uh, tabulated in fractions? No, this is nonsense. That That is not done. That is not possible. And again, if someone tried to alter the electronic record, the printed paper ballots wouldn't match. It's not possible possible. Again, we've gone back in Georgia, we've gone back in other places, match the ballots to the electronic tally. They match. There is no widespread fraud in the way that they're alleging. Did Dominion bribe uh, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp of the Secretary of State to throw this election to Joe Biden? Uh, Sidney Powell calls it a Dominion scam. So the argument is the Republican governor of Georgia and the Republican Secretary of State of Georgia took bribes? No. First of all, no, that did not happen. Second, it doesn't sound even vaguely plausible. Why would they, why would, they're Republican elected officials, they're supporters of the president. Why would they want Joe Biden to be president? I mean, these are questions for them to answer, but it doesn't, doesn't strike me as remotely believable. Do their claims have any, uh, do they hold any water? Do their claims have any legitimacy at all? I have not yet heard a claim that is in any way legitimate that would substantially alter or, or alter a single vote. No, I mean, we've had isolated errors by human actors in Antrim County, Michigan, which was swiftly corrected. I mean, they point to that a lot. The, the, the takeaway there is that the error was spotted on election night. The president won the county by 2,500 or so votes. I have not seen any credible allegation that would impact this election substantially, no. And finally, uh, you've been around Washington a lot. You're going to get a good attack. You're gonna, cause they're going to call you a rhino because you've worked for John Boehner uh, uh, and for others including uh, Mr. Ryan, who is on the board of Fox, for example, uh, and uh, Jeb Bush. As someone who uh, works in Washington, as someone who is involved in public policy, what do these type of allegations do to the integrity and credibility and belief in our election system? What do they do to the very foundation of the republic that we hold so dear? Look, I'm a conservative Republican. I've worked for conservative causes, candidates and elected officials for nearly 20 years. I think that these allegations are not allegations against Dominion voting systems. They are against our elected officials at the state and local level, bipartisan poll watchers, the very system that inspires the confidence that we have and the love of our country is under attack through these allegations. And it is all our obligation to defend the truth, to defend democracy. And that's what we're trying to do here. Would those election officials try to steal the election for Donald Trump or for Joe Biden? I can't imagine that someone would want to be in a position of authority in our election system, in our democracy, just to subvert it. I think these are public spirited people. I think these are patriots and they're doing their job to the best of their ability to make sure we get accurate, transparent results. Some facts about the Dominion voting systems from Michael Steele, a spokesman for the company. Michael, thank you for joining us. 